Okay, you guys, it is so much more crowded than I anticipated. Big travel day, we're flying. Flying to Hawaii. Aloha! Are you excited, Roz? What? what? That was weird. Mama's a little weird. Thanks for loving me just the way I am, you guys. <laughs> Our flight takes off at 8.50 from LAX. Honolulu. Yeah. Uh, Grandpa Gary is our LAX chauffeur extraordinaire, complete with hot coffee and uh, mints for the plane. Mints? Yeah. Oh, I have. Don't worry, Raleigh. I got some mints for you. Don't worry. He packed a big bag of mints. Bless you, Declan. If any of you watched my last LAX travel video, um, it was quite a fiasco when we went through security, and I had no idea that we could call and use their disability services, call and arrange that in advance. Hopefully we have enough time. I'm a little concerned uh, because we have not heard from TSA. They were supposed to call us with an arrival time. I, I was told um, by the person who helped me over at TSA Cares to go to the TSA uh, you know, desk and give them our confirmation number because we did schedule this in advance. They should have all of our information in the system and hopefully that helps you guys. Oh, I love this tunnel. <laughs> yeah. They'll be here after we're gone. <laughs> yeah. Look at all the construction happening. I wonder if that's the people mover track, Jesse, or what is that up there? Yeah. That's exciting. 2023. That's what we saw a little yeah, was, handout when we were right? when we were at Watts Tower. Look at that construction. That's cool. So it's gonna go all the way down Century Boulevard. <gasps> Fun. Yeah, oh my gosh. To, to, to the airport. Oh, no, I don't know. Remember when we were at Walt Disney World and we went on the People Mover? It was the first ride we went on in Tomorrowland. It's like that. Yeah, so we're flying United. So what Gary is doing is there is a United shortcut on the left so you don't have to go all the way around the circle. No, it's not an amusement park, sweetheart. This is LAX, but they also are putting in a people mover <laughs> for public transportation. That's an amusement park. I see we made it in exactly 30 minutes. Look at that. Look at that. I'll take a 20 minutes to get that. Yeah. Coming in 2029, our new boom. Sonic aircraft will run 100% sustainable aviation. Oh wow. Concord back. There it is. So there so we're in the United left turn lane, right by Delta. That's so pretty. Man, we might be late if we had to do that whole circle. Look at all the traffic. Wow, that's so cool. Look at that, Doug. Barely, but yes. Yeah. Where were we going? Okay, yeah. That's when we were engaged. Newly engaged. Oh, Jesse, look at all those breeze blocks. Oh. No, no. This is gorgeous mid century structure here. Here we are. Let the chaos begin. Let our national lampoon vacation <laughs> begin. <laughs> Gary, thank you so much. Yes. What does that mean, United Premier? First class premium lane. People, oh. premium yeah, people. premium people. People with money. Mula. Okay, you guys, it is so much more crowded than I anticipated. Um, our flight leaves at 8.50. We arrived at LAX about 6.30. Now, I did check in with a TSA officer here on the left. Thankfully, we found that spot, that check-in point. Definitely bring your confirmation number if you have a disability and you've arranged to meet with them because this is, this is quite intimidating. I'm a little nervous we'll make it through, so we'll see how it goes. 45. 45 minutes? We're kind of cutting it close. We thought we had padded the schedule that we had two hours. Uh, but uh, it is, I've never seen LAX as crowded post pandemic. We have a lot of checkpoints, a lot of documents. Um, Raleigh has her medical devices. Let's maybe get her medical devices out. Uh, so we did check in, they're sending a TSA officer over. So we'll see how it goes, you guys. Jesse's like, that is a lot of terrazzo and a lot of people. That was so different, you guys. 
having the TSA care services. I really recommend it if you're traveling with a disability. All right, we're going to gate 77. It's about 7.20 and our flight leaves at 8.50. It starts boarding at 8. I have to give Raleigh her Lantus, which is her 24-hour insulin coverage. Maybe feed the kids a snack, drink some water. You feel low? Oh, Raleigh has a thro sore throat. They both cleared and don't have any COVID. They've got negative COVID tests, which you have to get to go to Hawaii. But she woke up with a sore throat. Yeah, she woke up with a sore throat, so she's not feeling well. She's pretty miserable. We um, are a bit hungry, but we are moving at the speed of children, so we'll be just going straight to the terminal. Wow, you guys, um, the airport, United Terminal, it's a Saturday morning. It is so crowded. So I don't know if we'll find a place to sit, but uh, hopefully we do. If not, we can just sit on the floor. Okay, so we have to go all the way back to the front of the United Terminal because we do need to do the pre-check uh, with the Hawaii Travel Service. If you don't check in with them in your departing terminal, when you get to Honolulu or whatever airport in Hawaii, it can be up to a two hour wait. So definitely do the pre-check before you board if you're headed to Hawaii. That was our mistake. We didn't realize we thought it was by the gate, but it's actually at the front of the United Terminal. And of course our gate's like all the way in the back. So the kids are like, oh my gosh, more walking. Raleigh's tired. She'll probably need a snack soon. This is a lot of walking for her. This is our first time traveling without a stroller for her. And of course with type one, all the activity can make her quite, oh, oh so sorry, sorry, can make her quite low. I'm sorry, sir. I guess the word is out about this pre-check for Hawaii. It's so long, you guys. I don't know if you could see, it goes all the way back over there. The kids are really tired. We've been doing a lot of walking back and forth, so I'm just doing a snack with them right now. Uh, Raleigh has these gluten-free Rice Krispie treats that she was excited about. I'm eating cheese. We haven't had breakfast. And um, we're using this snack pack, which is really coming in handy to keep all her snacks in one place without getting them all crunched. And, oh boy, I'm going to breathe. Oh, Jack. Okay, so a woman here at United Customer Service, uh, she just announced that we need a QR code in addition to all of our vaccine and uh, for the kids, the COVID test results. And that was new information. This website, you guys, is not very intuitive. It's the travel.hawaii.gov website. That's where we logged all of our trip information. And I had no idea. I have not received any QR code. Uh, so I asked a couple people in line. They were very, very help helpful, so thank you. Um, they said you go to the website and you have to click on health questionnaire. I filled out all of the trip information. I applied for the exception for all of us from so we don't have to quarantine. And then I did not fill out the health questionnaire. So I'm going to do that now and hopefully I can do that for all of the family members. Look what I just found. Look at that Kate Spade Minnie Mouse backpack. Ooh, that's so cute. Just had to give you something cool to look at in the midst of all this craziness. You guys look, if I go like this, it wraps around the corner too. I just don't see this happening before our flight takes off. All right, you guys, I filled out the form and they did email me a QR code, but it's kind of confusing because you fill out the form and they don't say we're sending you a QR code that you need to present to customer service at your airline. So it's really confusing. Hang in there if, you ha if you're traveling to Hawaii and you have to do this. I was under the impression that not a lot of people were traveling to Hawaii, but that's not the case. Uh, it's very, very busy. Yes, Raleigh. When do we go on the plane? Um, well, the boarding is gonna start any minute now. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see what happens. I love that the Cancun final call is like totally mellow. Last call to Cancun, flight 78. They're already on island time, I love it. All right, so our flight has started boarding and the line is still quite long. They have, yeah, there's a final call. And everyone in line with us is on the same flight. I just talked to one of the customer service people at the front of the line. I said, our flight is now boarding. That's what should we do? And she said, go, shh, 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 shh. she said, go board your flight. So 
there's no like, oh, our flight is boarding, we need to get this. This is something that you come in advance to do, and if you don't get it done in time, then you just have to do it in Hawaii. We got here two hours before our flight, and it was not enough time, and I have to tell you that we took Raleigh through the disability services, so we would still be in security right now. That line was so long. If you guys want to get this pre-clearance, you got to come like three or four hours early, especially if it's a busy time of day at LAX. We're just hoping for the best. We're going to stand in this line until it's like they're yelling last call, I guess is the plan. <laughs> and hope, hopeful that because there's so many people on our flight in line with us that they won't take off without us. So we're just kind of gambling because it would be a bummer to get on, like, be on vacation and stand in this line twice, you know? All right, you guys, there's a new development here. We were just handed this QR code. So you can, I, I guess in theory, do this online while you're waiting. So that would be helpful. Jesse's on the line. You're trying, you're waiting for someone? Uh, so he scanned the QR code. You need your boarding pass and it looks like a confirmation number. Honestly, this is like, this is like escape room level. You know, there's like, puzzles to solve and like forms to fill out and QR codes and I mean yeah, riddles can you send me, can you send me of the Sphinx. Seven minutes to spare. We got our wristbands and we're getting on the plane. Yay! This is our favorite part. We got a document. Daddy with all the bags. I think it's the breezeway. Jetway, jet walking down the jetway. Next stop, Hawaii. You just leave them here. Look at all the bags. It's a totally full flight, you guys. Oh, I don't miss the stroller days. So stressful. Oh, thank you so much. Wow, you guys, this is a big plane. Look at this. Fancy. We're 51 and we're at 10, so we have a ways to go, you guys. We made it on the plane and we have our wristbands. Aloha, here we come. Wow, that was a journey, you guys. Declan's giving us play-by-play -play updates. Now we're turning. It's such a clear day too, you can see the hills. There's not that much smog, that's nice. Oh, we're going to happen. Auntie Sarah told the kids to send her pictures of turtles, so now we've got to find turtles, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is. Look at that. Wow, that's Malibu, I think. All right, let's see what food they have available. I packed a lot for the kids, but I know, it's Iris. She just turned 100. I follow her on Insta, I think everyone does. She's so great. She gives me serious life goals. Look at this, so fabulous. Oh yeah, do you know how to play Sudoku? No. It's in the back of the magazine. Alright, let's see what they've got. So this is why I packed Raleigh all of her snacks. I had I got uh, gluten-free Pringles because a lot of these snacks have gluten in it. I found a couple of the gluten-free options on the cart here. It's the um, chocolate covered banana chips. And the chia seed yogurt is gluten-free. The only allergen it has is coconut. Uh, but before you take off, you actually need to load your credit card information um, on their app to your flight info. So you cannot make in-flight purchases unless you have a credit card in their system before the plane takes off. So that's another thing we didn't know about. I mean, you guys, there's seriously so many things you need to do pre-flight now. We did pack snacks. I have a lot of snacks for Raleigh. That's crazy. That's a new thing. Yeah, we didn't know about it at all. Nobody tells you anything, so you just kind of have to watch this video. I don't know, you guys. There's a lot to know before you go. 
They serve Illy coffee, and this I think is a new development. I'm pretty excited about it. I think mine was from the bottom of the pot, but oh well. I don't know if I've shared these with you yet because I've been shooting a lot and I haven't had time to edit, but um, these are amazing. They're plant-based milk. If you guys look at this, for the carbs, it's only 12 grams. And for the protein, it's seven grams of protein in one of these. So that's great. Really such a great milk alternative for kids. The flight attendant was so kind because we didn't, you can't load your credit card to the app in flight. Like you can't download an app in flight. So you have to do it before you depart. Um, so we'll do that before our next flight. That was new to us. Uh, but the flight attendant, when I told her that Raleigh was gluten free and she couldn't have the other snack, she just brought it to her, which is so sweet. Is it soft or crunchy? Kind of both. So it's sure. I'll try one. Oh yeah, cool. They're like little banana, dried banana. Oh yeah. Oh good. They're really sweet. Really sweet because banana is so sweet. And then it's dark chocolate, so it's the chocolate's really good. I like that dark chocolate. It's better than milk chocolate. It would be too sweet with milk chocolate. Yeah, that's good. Let me see how many carbs, because she likes them. So one fourth cup, ooh, they're really sugary, Raleigh. One fourth cup is 17 grams. So I need to, she's over 300 right now. I need to give you some more insulin, okay? All right, Raleigh's gonna try the pudding. The whole thing is 32 carbs and 14 grams of protein, which is really good. Okay, you wanna take a little bite? You don't like it? Okay, she doesn't like it. I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm, that's good. It's pudding is so good. And it's got mango, like mango chunks and mango flavor. It's really yummy. Okay, Raleigh wants her banana. The neighbors behind us were so sweet and they also gave us their snack box. And they have um, olives and some almonds and those are gluten free too. You guys wanna see where we're going? So we just took off from Los Angeles. Look at all the flights that take off from Los Angeles. And Houston, wow, even more in Houston. And New York. So here we are, we're in Los Angeles and we're flying all the way to Honolulu. They don't care, they're too busy playing with their apps. Fun, you guys I guess the pilots do a halfway to Hawaii trivia game got out a little pen and we're gonna write our answer on the napkin and um, it's exciting that we're halfway because the flight has gone really smooth uh, really quick so far so we're halfway to Hawaii time to watch a movie oh Raleigh look they have the Adams Family Values movie Austin Powers that's the a lot of good big. Thank you. We have to fill out a state of Hawaii customs form. That's also mandatory. Oh, they have cabaret. Nice. They have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Classic. That used to be your favorite. Do you remember that? Yeah. Since Raleigh doesn't want to watch The Addams Family, I'm going to watch Black Widow again. Oh, the music started. Yeah, we have less than two hours. Thanks, Raleigh. Okay. Congratulations. What? Oh, wow. What did it feel like? Ooh. Thank you. <laughs> Mama won the halfway trivia. <laughs> Jesse's like, how did you do that? I was like, math. Mama's got math skills. Douglas, I won. Yeah, I know. It hurts. Yeah. I bet it's a first class pillow. I bet you get it in first class. Ooh, very fancy. Oh, wow, look at that. Beautiful. Whoa, it's windy. Oh, Raleigh, you're really not having a good time. Thank you. This has what it's supposed to have in it. Raleigh got really sick while we were landing. You're not eating, you're chewing gum, Declan. There's a difference. He's like, I'm eating. I don't need my mask. You're walking off the plane. Please put your mask on. Jacqueline. 
there's a trash can. There's my first stop. Poor Raleigh was so miserable. She's like, I'm having a horrible day. All right, how are you feeling, Raleigh? Are you feeling any better? Yeah, look at the terrazzo. Your ears still hurt? Her ears didn't pop. You're just miserable, you poor thing. Jesse, I'm to asking her how she feels. Maybe for the bathroom. So funny. I was just like, I can't believe you were talking about this floor and then you start talking about it again. Jesse really likes Maybe this for floor. The bathroom to do something different. No, I don't know, Jesse. It's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably Oh, for sure. Yeah, no, the woodworking is really pretty. Look at this. They even have the flesh, they have the fresh flower lays in the refrigerator. Yes, I said flesh flowers instead of fresh flowers. Yes. Yeah, they used to. Probably because of COVID, they don't do it anymore. Flesh flowers. Yeah, it used to be you arrived and you got you got laid, but now you have to buy your lace. Flesh flowers. Look at this. Do you feel that Hawaiian air? Oh, is this the line? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the line we would have waited in if we hadn't gotten our wristbands. Oh my gosh, I've heard it's up to two hours. I bet you could. Oh my gosh, and I love this breezeway. You've arrived when you're walking down this breezeway. I love this airport. All right, let's get those bags. Do we know which one we are? Uh, I'm gonna amend my final wishes. Jesse's giving me his final request. Terrazzo gravestone. This is very important now that we're on vacation. He's facing most burning life questions. All right, I told him to put it in writing and we'll do our best. We were at the wrong carousel, so hopefully we get our bags now. No, that's close though. We do have a white one. All right, two, two of the three bags and the white one should be here because it was supposed to be on the plane. It had my laptop on it. So hopefully it makes it. Look. Shoot, Jesse, what if my bag's gone? It's my laptop. It should be here, it should be here. Can you go talk to someone? Go talk to them over there. Because we've seen the whole thing go around. Have we? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you little brat. You had me so worried. Oh, my suitcase made it. Look at this terrazzo. Callie. We're in the rental car. We're exhausted. We're hungry, but we do have water. Yay! That's all we could find. We came to Hawaii, and the first thing we go to is gluten. Yeah, looking for gluten-free food for our daughter who has celiac disease, Jesse. And they had nothing. They had one loaf of multi-grain bread that she probably won't eat. Let's just be honest. And this is how it starts. But it's gorgeous, and we will find food. If we have to eat rice all week, we will. Oh wow, that was such a journey. Thanks for watching. The kids are ready to get into the condo. We'll share more of this later. Thanks for traveling with stay, us. St wait, wait. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs> we'll definitely be doing more vlogs. Uh, see you guys later. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed traveling with us. Bye.